My name is Diana Zinal, and I'm running for state representative because I can offer you strong progressive values combined with solid government experience. For the first time in over 16 years, we're being asked to select a new state representative. We all loved Peter Cocott. He worked so hard. He was calm, steady, wise, and committed. I worked as Peter's district director for his entire career. I continue to do so to this day. It was the honor of my life to have a front row seat to his service and to learn from him. Additionally, I have previous elected experience as a two-term member of the Hatfield Select Board, serving three of those years as chair. This experience solidified my understanding of how government works for you, the people it serves. You must trust that your next state representative will be on the right side of policy decisions, always fighting for fairness and justice and progress. As a mother of three, my top priority will be education funding, making sure that we make the necessary investments in our schools from pre-K through our public higher education institutions. I will fight to create a single payer healthcare system based on fairness and quality care. We must strive to put the Commonwealth at the forefront of clean energy development and combating climate change. We must fight to make the necessary investments to increase access to public transportation, including the development of East-West Rail. And we must ensure that Massachusetts is a place that is welcoming to and protective of our immigrant friends. And we must stand up for members of the LGBTQ community. We know that we cannot settle for anything less than the 100% fair treatment of everyone. My years of direct service to the constituents of this district have made me acutely aware of the needs of the vulnerable. We must make it a priority to provide better funding to agencies that care for our elderly, our veterans, our homeless, our disabled, and those struggling with addiction and mental illness. This knowledge of constituent issues will easily translate into legislative action for me. You must trust that your next state rep has experience with budgets in order to be effective during what we know is a difficult and politically charged process. In addition to what I've learned about this from Peter, I oversaw a $12 million budget in Hatfield. I juggled those priorities and I was accountable for my decisions. Your next state rep will be relied on heavily by local elected officials for a wide variety of complicated municipal needs, including overdue infrastructure improvements. You need to elect someone who has experience with these, and I do. Your next state rep must have effective working relationships with key people in local government, state departments, and social service agencies. I have those, and they are invaluable to you as a constituent. We've experienced difficult loss here in the 1st Hampshire District. Both Peter's passing and Senator Rosenberg's resignation have created a huge void of experience. I am determined and committed to put my values and qualifications to use for the 1st Hampshire District during this unprecedented time of loss and uncertainty. I ask for your vote on September 4th.